this position. Cupping, pushing. Going to the Umapada. Now, sometimes what will happen is he'll be really super strong and he'll posture all the way up. You know, posture up and I'll be in like this position. Okay? From here, I want to, I want to, like if he postures, there's no use scissoring my legs anymore. So I'm going to go to the figure four lock, the figure four here. To this, a figure four locking that's going to secure this grip a little bit more. Then from here, as he's posturing up, he's going to posture because this is his way to get out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this against him. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my hips up. I'm going to throw my hips up in the air like this, take him back, and come back to this position. Okay? It's like this. Okay? So, let me show you again. Comes, I go to Uma Fada, he postures, postures, and get back the other way. And I go just like this. Okay, now from this position, I'm sitting on him. Now let's say once I take him, he comes and he tries to turn into me. As he turns into me, look at this arm. See what it does? He's hugging with this arm. I'm going to scoop his elbow, grab his wrist. Throw this to the mat, just like this. From here, switch my hips, step over, pull him up. And then I got the Kimura. Okay, one more time. So, I set the Umapada up. Come over his face. He postures. When he does, I just throw my hips the other way. I sweep him to the back. As he does, he's going to try to turn into me. I'm just going to grab, lock the Kimura. From here, his foot comes out. I throw my elbows to the mat. Switch my hips, step over, pull him up. Finish the